Modern Warfare 2's DMZ mode is not very solo friendly. Most of that by design. Right off the bat, there is no solo lobby. There's not even a duo lobby. When you play DMZ, you are playing against potentially all other squads of three players. Of course, if you do want to play alone, you do have the option to turn off squad fill, meaning you'll be loading in alone, though the cards are going to be heavily stacked against you. Loading into a DMZ match as a solo player is a super risky endeavor, and realistically, you're not guaranteed to get anything more than you would if you were to play with a full squad. Like I said, there is no solo specific mode in DMZ, so everything is still tailored as if you are going to be a squad of three. All of the AI hit exactly the same. There's the same amount of AI because it's assuming that there's going to be other squads of three people. The other missions, the other players, all of this does not scale depending on how many people there are in the game. It's essentially a set number in the code and everything, and regardless if you're playing by yourself or with two other friends, it's going to be relatively the same sort of result. It's going to be a little bit more difficult if you're a solo player. If you're a solo player dropping into DMZ for the first time and you don't take a lot of equipment with you, you're going to be struggling to get anything. Hopefully you can find some weapons hidden around some of the buildings you spawn nearby, but if you load into a DMZ match with literally nothing and you actually spawn by the enemy AI, well hopefully you're able to sneak around them and assassinate a few of them and be able to obtain a weapon from them. But the AI in DMZ is nothing to play around with. Sure, sometimes their detection range is a little bit strange, like sometimes I feel like I'm right next to them and they don't notice me, and other times it feels like I'm halfway across the map and I'm getting sniped across. So aside from that, the AI is super aggressive. Once they know where you are, they are coming for you, and they will use whatever means necessary, and they will absolutely shred through any armor you have. I swear to God, the AI in this DMZ mode is on another level. I know you don't want it to be like the dumbest AI in the world where it literally poses no challenge, but this AI seriously just has aimbot. They, they see you and they their guns do so much damn damage, they're almost hitting every single shot and you are going down. Especially if there's a big group of these people and if you're playing alone, you're not going to have a really good time. You really have to think about what you're doing in DMZ, especially if you're playing as a solo player. Playing as a solo player, like I said, doesn't net you any extra rewards. You can do the same things as a solo player as you could with a full squad. The only difference is going to be if you go down and you don't have a self-revive, you're done for the game. You're losing whatever you had on you. So there's a lot more risk, but the reward stays exactly the same. I feel like DMZ could potentially benefit from a solo mode or a duo mode, but if the whole point of the game mode is it is meant to be a three person thing, then sure. But maybe if you load in as a solo player, you get a free self revive right off the bat or something like that, just to make the playing field a little bit more even. As it stands right now, playing DMZ as a solo player is borderline impossible, especially if you're going for these faction missions. I mean, from what my understanding, once you get past tier 2 and you're on to tier 3, most of these missions can't be completed solo. So good luck with that. So if you feel like playing DMZ as a solo player, hope you got a self revive. Hope you got some good weapons and that you don't lose them and that you're able to actually extract and hopefully you don't run into super aggressive other squads. Because while the AI is very dangerous in this game, the enemy players are just as dangerous, potentially ending your run pretty damn quick. Quite honestly, I really do enjoy DMZ, but it's very clear that it is not built with a solo player in mind. This is built to be a squad-based game mode, and that is perfectly fine. I just feel like sometimes this AI is super fucking annoying because they don't miss a damn shot. Like, I mean, you can see it even in this video. Like, they can see you through smoke, see you through walls. This AI is super aggressive, could deal with being toned down a little bit, and maybe there's a couple more adjustments they can make if you decide to be a solo player going into this. 
While it can be a nice adrenaline rush to have a super risky endeavor, the fact that you don't get anything more reward-wise really doesn't incentivize anybody to play this as a solo player. Once you have nobody to play with, I don't recommend playing DMZ solo. Let me know what you guys think about DMZ. Are you guys having a ton of fun with it? How about Modern Warfare 2 in general? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates!